In this video, we'll go over how to use Turnitin inside Canvas. Turnitin is used in assignments as an external tool. To get started, let's open up one of our courses and create a new assignment. I'm going to go into my modules and inside one of my modules, click on the plus icon to create a new assignment. I'll give it a name like Turnitin Sample Assignment and add that item and then edit this assignment like I always do. I'll click on the edit button, provide directions in the top field for students and I can add more detail here, um, provide some points for this assignment, uh, select the category and then in the submission type is where we will select turn it in. So we'll first click on the drop down and select external tool then click on the find button and from our long list of external tools I will scroll down and I might have to use the second bar to actually see the entire window, click on Turnitin. Notice it automatically adds in a URL for where the Turnitin um, information resides. I'll click on select. As always, it looks like nothing happened, but I'll scroll down and give it a due date. Let's say it's due this Friday at 4 p.m. When I hit save and publish, I will see a new frame a new window inside my assignment details where information from Turnitin resides. I am able to further provide additional directions and change settings. I can put in more instructions here um, if I want to, uh, but what we will look at next is the optional settings area. Here we'll set additional settings on how Turnitin should behave. So when I click on that, it opens up a set of more settings. The first is submission settings. Um, we want students to submit papers and have it be stored in our standard paper repository. The only other option is to not store any student submissions. We want to store submissions so that they can be used for future submission checks. Um, allow students to upload any file tab. We will not turn that on uh, because we want students to use either the standard file types from the computer, Microsoft Word, um, those types or use items from their Google Drive. So not checking this off um, allows us to do that. Um, allowing students late submissions, this is something that is a teacher discretion. Um, this will allow students, turning this on will allow students to submit late assignments. Um, as it happens for all other late assignments, it will be tagged as late. The next allows for grammar check using Turnitin's built-in tools. Um, uh, for this assignment, I'm not turning that on. Um, attaching a rubric, selecting this option allows you to use a rubric inside Turnitin, which is very different, completely not attached to the rubrics that we've been building and using inside Canvas. So this rubric is not attached to anything in Canvas. This is a Turnitin only rubric. So for this assignment, I'm not going to turn that on. The next set of settings is how student work will be compared. So we're going to turn all things on so that student work is compared against everything possible. The next is what type of reports students should be able to see and when. So clicking on the drop down allows us three different options. Students see reports immediately but are only allowed one submission. They cannot resubmit the assignment even though there might be time before the due date. The second option allows students to see their similarity report where they can see how much of their work is similar to something else that have been submitted somewhere uh, in Turnitin, but they are allowed to resubmit their assignment. And after three resubmissions, they are not given any reports until 24 hours. Then the third option is to give students the reports on the due date. When the assignment is due, when that cutoff happens, then students can see their similarity reports. For this assignment, I'm going to select the middle option um, because I want students to be able to resubmit their work um, after they can see how similar their work might be. Below that are a few checkoff op boxes. Um, allow students to view similarity reports. I'm going to turn that on so that they can see the reports uh, based on the selection I made above. Um, exclude bibliographic materials. That's your choice. I'm turning that on so that students' bibliography is not included in the similarity report. Uh, and the next two options, I'm not turning them on. Finally, there's additional setting that allows me to save all of these previous settings as my default for the next set of assignments I create. So I'm going to check that on so that next time when I create an assignment, Turnitin will automatically remember all of these settings and I can come in and tweak them, but this will become my default. So I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to click submit. 
I have now created this assignment and students will be able to submit these assignments for me as a teacher. In the next video, we'll go over what it looks like from a student perspective.